Hey everybody, I know it's been a while. I decided to record a video about how to thread paint some flowers because I've gotten a couple of questions about my pet portraits and some of the thread painting that I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a class on it. Um, so I will link all of the supplies I'm using as well as the colors that I'm using down in the notes and I will also try to put on the screen how many strands I'm using and all the thread colors that I'm using as we go along. So um, if you want to pick out your thread colors that you want to use or use the ones that I suggest, you'll just need that and some embroidery supplies and we can get started. So for these flowers, I'm going to work from the outside in. I think it's easier to blend out the colors that way for these flowers. We're just going to be doing some purple pansies today. So for this initial stitch, I'm just doing basic satin stitches, which are just straight stitches side by side. And I'm using two strands of thread. The biggest thing with thread painting is blending your colors nicely. So you wanna pay attention to the direction your stitches are going in. What I like to do is think about where the center of the flower is and basically try to point all of my stitches towards the center of that flower. That way I know that all the stitches are going in the same direction and also I think it looks a little bit more realistic because if you think about like a leaf or a flower, the grain of the leaf goes towards the center of the flower, if that makes sense. So for the sake of not boring you completely, I'm going to speed up the video a little bit um, through some of these parts, but you're basically just going to go around the outside of all the leaves with this color and I will meet you back for the next part of the thread painting. So the next thing I'm going to do is go basically one layer inward and I'm going to be overlapping these stitches onto the stitches that we previously stitched around the leaf with a lighter shade of purple. And I'm just using one strand of the thread for this. I think it's a lot easier to make a finer blend when you're only using one strand. Um, I used two initially for the outside of the leaf just because we were kind of packing color around and it didn't really matter about blending it. Um, because now, as you can see, I'm doing short and long stitches. They're just straight stitches to blend the two colors together. Another tip for this is to not make your short and long stitches super uniform. I think it looks a lot more natural if you do kind of a random combination of short and long stitches. So don't worry too much about doing alternating short and long, just kind of go with it and make some extra long, some a little bit long, some short. And that way I think it kind of creates the illusion that the colors are blending together a little bit better. For these flowers, you don't really need to blend these super, super well because I think the two purples that I'm using are pretty drastically different and I think it looks better for this flower just because you want it to look very like contrasty I guess I don't know <laughs> so again I'm just going to be working all these short and long stitches all the way around the flower and I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit again um, on the other leaves the three um, front leaves I'm not gonna be bringing the light purple down as far because we're gonna be putting the white and the black in those three front leaves, as you can see from the other flower. So I'm just kinda like going around making some shorter stitches on those other petals. So 
So again, I've gone all the way around with that lighter purple color and I'm going to be going in with this light, light yellow. It almost looks like a white in contrast with the purple. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing again, just going around making short and long stitches. I'm only blending it um, against the other purple so you don't really have to worry about like staggering your white stitches on the like towards the center of the flower i'm just worrying about doing short and long um, where i'm blending the purple in with the white So now I'm going to be using the black and I'm not going to blend the black out as far or as much as I was blending out the purple and the white because if you look like at a pansy I feel like the black is not as blended out, it's more solid. So I'm, I'm using short and long stitches but not as um, dramatically as how I blended out the purple and the white. So I'm just going to go around with these. Um, three front leaves and again um, stitch the black into them. So all the black is done and now I'm going in with the yellow for the center of the flower and I'm just going to be doing some satin stitches. I'm not really blending it out that much, just a little bit on the bottom in that center flower against the black, but otherwise I'm just making vertical stitches into the center of the flower. And then after that, I'm going to go back with that light, light yellow color and I'm just going to make a couple of French knots above that yellow um, to create how on a pansy like I think it's the stamens or something they have like a little bit of a like a I don't know a piece of the flower that sticks out so I'm just gonna make some French knots to kind of create the illusion of those I'm sorry I'm not very good with flower terms <laughs> Thank you. 
So now I'm gonna go in with my light purple color and I'm just going to do some satin stitches on the leaves of this flower that's basically supposed to be like upturned. So this is the outside of the flower with the petals facing upward. So I'm just gonna use this lighter purple color and satin stitch all three of those leaves, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of room at the base to go ahead and blend out the base with some darker purple color. Right now I'm just using two strands of purple since like I said, I'm just kind of packing color into it. So now again, I'm just using one strand of the dark purple color and I'm going to use the short and long stitches to blend out the base of that flower a little bit. So I'm just going to go around the base of the flower, fill it all in, and then we will do the stem of this flower. So I'm going to use two strands of this light green color and I'm just going to make um, a straight stitch for the stem and then I'm just going to make a few straight stitches on top of that dark purple to kind of make it look like little leaves at the base of the flower. And now for the leaves of the flower, I'm just going to go in with this light green color and I'm going to make some satin stitches on the outer portion of the leaf. So I'm just going to go around the entire leaf and I'm going to leave the center alone because I'm going to go in with one shade darker of green just to give the leaf a little bit more dimension. And here is that darker green color. I am just using two strands for this, but if you again want like a finer blend, just use one. For the leaf, I wasn't super worried about it because these colors are super, super similar. It's just a very slight difference between these two colors. So I'm not super worried about it looking like it's not gonna blend together. So I'm just going in making stitches the same direction that I was, I did the outside stitches and just doing short and long to blend the leaf together. Once I've finished up with this leaf, I'm going to go to the lower leaf 
on to the, to the bottom left. I'm not going to show that just because it's the same routine as this one, but I'm going to use just the darker color for that one since it's kind of sitting behind the bottom um, pansy because in real life you're going to have some shadows so I'm just going to make it entirely darker to make it look like it's kind of sitting towards the back of the flower. So those leaves are done and I went ahead and started the little sprig of leaves on the bottom right flower and I'll show you how I do that. So you're just going to make some um, back stitches on the center of the stem all the way up to the top and then I am just making some satin stitches for each of the little leaves and that's about it. So yeah, uh, I really hope that this helped you guys. Um, it was fun to make and I'm looking forward to making more of these videos. Um, I have a list of flowers that I'd like to film and take pictures of and post on my blog. So if you want to check out the stencil that I used for this, I have it linked down below. Um, you can print it out and trace it and then um, do this project. Or you can draw your own and just kind of apply the principles that I just showed you. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Um, let me know if you have any flowers that you in particular want to see um, be embroidered and I can do my own spin on it. Anyways, thanks for following along and commenting on my videos and stuff. I haven't posted on here in a while, but I feel like people are still finding this channel, which is exciting. Um, so I'm going to try um to record more videos i hope everybody stays healthy and safe i know things are really crazy right now so hopefully this will kind of occupy your mind for a little while give you something to do um yeah thanks everybody